Hello and welcome. My name's George and my channel is all about helping you get the most out of Logic Pro so that you can record and produce your best music in your home studio. Today, we're gonna look at the new free tempo recording feature found in Logic Pro 10.7.5 and show you how you can apply that to recording MIDI and software instruments. So let's dive in. Okay, so I've just got a software instrument track pulled up here. I've just loaded in the Yamaha Grand Piano using the sampler. And what the free tempo recording feature allows us to do is we can record in MIDI, so a piano in this case, and just play and record freely without a metronome or a click. And Logic will interpret that and put your recording onto the grid automatically. So I'll show you how to do all of that. So first thing we wanna recognize is where the free tempo recording button actually is. So if you look up here, we have our normal recording button, and then right beside it, I have the free tempo recording button. Now, if you're not seeing this button, what you wanna do is click on this little arrow right here and go down to customize control bar and display. And then here you wanna make sure that free tempo is indeed checkmarked. And right below it, you'll notice there's this capture recording and that previously looked similar to the free tempo recording. So that's one thing just to be aware of is to distinguish between the two. So the capture recording is the square, the free tempo is the circle. And you can simply just click outside to close that. And then now when it's time to record, I'm just gonna go ahead and click the free tempo record button. And I'm just gonna go ahead and record some piano without the metronome. And now I'll just hit spacebar to stop. And now you see we have four different options here. So the first one is apply region tempo to project. Now, when I hit apply for that one, what this does is logic will actually conform to the tempo that I played. So it'll create a tempo map for that. So if I go up here to the global tracks, and now you can see here the tempo. I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see that better. So you can see my tempo varied from 121.8 down to 118. And now if I play this back with the metronome on, you'll hear that it's all to that metronome. Now, the other thing to notice is if I double click here to open up the piano roll, and I'll zoom in on this as well, you'll notice that it's not all quantized. So it adjusts the tempo to kind of get it as close as possible to start on the beat of every bar. But overall, the way I played it is the way it stays. And then Logic is just gonna to conform to that based on this tempo map. So if I were to add in a drummer, for example, the drummer would follow this tempo map and play along to the tempo that I recorded at. I can see this mode being really handy if you're composing for film, for example, and you just wanna play along to the film without being stuck on a rigid tempo, and then later on have Logic conform to that tempo that you just naturally played at. Now let's see what the other three options do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and undo the recording we just did. So now we return to 120 beats per minute and I'll go ahead and record this in once more.
So now let's select Apply Average Region Tempo to Project. I'll go ahead and hit Apply. So now what happens is Logic analyzed what I played and it just averaged everything out. So my average tempo was 122.4. So in this case, it didn't readjust the tempo for every bar. It just gave me one average tempo. And because of that, when I hit playback with the metronome, the metronome is probably going to be a little bit more out than it was in the first example. Actually, that wasn't too bad, but you can see just at the beginning, a little bit late, a little bit late here, but overall, not too bad. Now let's do that once more to see what the next option brings. Now before I record in the third one, I'm going to adjust the tempo and logic, and I'm actually going to bring this down a little bit. I'm doing this because when I played it in earlier, Logic was detecting my tempo kind of around 118, so similar to 120. So I'm just going to set it to something a little bit different just so that we can notice more of a difference when I record this in. So I'll go ahead and record once more. Let's spacebar again to stop. And now I'm going to select Apply Project Tempo to Region. So let's go ahead and hit Apply. So now you'll notice that the tempo I had selected earlier stays. So that's unchanged. And it moved over my recorded MIDI so that it starts on the beat. So now what's going to happen is what I played is actually going to conform to the original Logic Tempo. So it's going to play it back slower than what I played it in, because I was originally playing it in around 118, and that's why I lowered this tempo so that we could hear how that affected it afterwards. So here's the playback. So that option would probably be helpful if you already have a project set at a certain tempo and you just want to record, again, a little bit more freely, but then have Logic conform that to the tempo that you already had selected for your project. Now, once again, just undo all of this, and we'll record in one last time to see the last option available to us. And once again, hit spacebar. And now the last and final option is simply don't analyze region tempo or change project tempo. So basically this means that it's not going to do anything. So it's going to keep my track exactly the way I recorded it and keep the tempo that I have set in Logic. So I have a hit apply. This would be as if I hadn't used the free tempo recording feature at all. So I hope that helped you get an understanding of the free tempo recording option in Logic Pro when recording MIDI. Let me know in the comments which mode you think you'll see yourself using the most often. And if you want to continue to improve your workflow in Logic Pro, don't forget to download my free Logic Pro hotkey cheat sheet by following the link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.